Northeast Georgia Medical Center is standing by one of its top surgeons, despite patients who claim that he not only didn't cure them, they wound up even worse. Dr. Andrew Green denies playing any role in the increased suffering of those patients, including some who died days after their surgery. Well, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says three cases have already resulted in big money outcomes. Randy? That's right, Russ and Courtney. The first two settled for a total of more than $2 million with no acknowledgement of wrongdoing. In the third, a jury found Dr. Green committed medical malpractice and issued a $3 million judgment. An appellate court just today ordered a new trial in that case, while other complaints continue. She was a good girl. She was my only girl, and I loved her. She didn't deserve to die. Six years after that death, Susie Mitchell's mom still can't talk about what happened without plenty of tissues and tears. <laughs> How could a 43-year-old mother of two go into surgery to remove a benign growth on her ovary, yet die at home days later after suffering through constant pain? It was a horrible, horrible way for her to die. An autopsy later found that Susie died from complications from a perforated small intestine, the cut allowing her digestive system to leak toxic fluid into her abdomen. Well, last year, a jury ordered her doctor and North Georgia Health System to pay her family $3 million. That doctor? Well, one of the hospital's star surgeons. I'm the only one here who does what I do. In this promotional video, Dr. Andrew Green explains how he's one of the few gynecological oncologists around who uses laparoscopic or robotic surgery. That's where a camera guides the surgeon through small incisions near the belly button. Hopefully when we do our job well, we can cure them. But even when we don't cure them, hopefully we can really increase their quality of life. But a Fox 5 I team review of court files or medical records reveals some patients came home from surgery complaining of serious complications. Not just Shirley Metcalf's daughter. <laughs> surgical cases that touch everyone in this room. That one year was the worst year of my life. In her pending lawsuit, Jessica Thomas of Monroe blamed Green for accidentally cutting her urinary tract, failing to fix it, and then sending her home. And the pain was just unbearable. I walked all night. I cried all night. She was 13 weeks pregnant, desperate to avoid a miscarriage the way two previous pregnancies ended. So she went to Dr. Green to stitch up her cervix, a common treatment to prevent miscarriages. According to her lawsuit, at home the next morning, she said she started bleeding heavily and experiencing unbearable pain. An ambulance rushed her to the ER in Athens. Well, they pressed down on my belly a little bit. <laughs> and my baby just fell off. <laughs> her lawsuit accused Green of severing her right ureter during the surgery. Other doctors later removed three liters of urine from her abdomen. He has done things that we all, all of us ladies, all our families had to live with for the rest of our lives. Neither Dr. Green nor his attorneys would comment on any of his upset patients, but in their response to Thomas's lawsuit, Green denied responsibility for her complications. In a statement to the I-Team, a hospital spokesman said, Dr. Green and NGHS prioritize patient safety. Dr. Green is a highly skilled and specialized surgeon who frequently operates on advanced cancer patients who are at increased risk for complications. He gives them a fighting chance to beat the odds while being sure they understand the inherent risk of surgery and has extended or saved countless lives. And of course there is a, a margin of error. He's a human, but you need to follow up with your patients to make sure that you mitigate or lessen the error, but he didn't do that. He cut a piece of my bowel and did not find it and sub me up. Karen Pinnix was in a medical coma for 10 days following her surgery to remove a mass from her pelvic area. In her pending lawsuit, another doctor noted Green's cut allowed waste to leak into her abdomen. The Lilburn businesswoman developed sepsis and kidney failure. This isn't a doctor that says, oh, I made a mistake, I'm so sorry. In this video deposition for the Pinnix case, Green again denied responsibility. When you're in a complex operation, occasionally you cut something you don't mean to. He says he didn't do anything wrong. I don't think I have a little man running inside of me cutting my bowel. It happened here and I got sick. There's only one person and he has to accept that. 
One of the other women in that room says she plans to file her lawsuit soon on behalf of her mother, a patient of Dr. Green's who died in January of this year. And as for that $3 million uh, judgment that was set aside by the courts, it was on technical grounds. The appellate courts uh, said that it should have been Susie Mitchell's estranged husband who filed the lawsuit, not her mother and her children. And I've reached out to uh, their attorney to see if he's going to refile and not heard back yet. It's interesting. And in the statement we heard from the hospital spokesperson, it, they made it really clear that they're standing behind him. Yeah, it is very clear, Courtney. They, they really believe strongly in his uh, abilities, in his performance there and uh, the cases that we talked about in our story there and the cases involving the lawsuits while tragic the hospital believes are not the doctor's fault all right and we know to keep us posted as this progresses we'll do randy thanks all right